All right, so we went over what our cards meant, what the signs meant. Now we're gonna talk about what you're going to do with them. So you are going to lay three cards out to the side. We're gonna read our code from left to right, just like we read. Then you're going to take your Bebop, make sure it's on. And you're gonna put it on your starting point. What button do we always start with? Clear. Make sure you clear your Bebot. You're, now you're going to look at your code, and I gave you a finish line. You need to predict where do you think your finish line is going to be. We talked about a prediction, meaning that it is taking an educated guess. So I'm going to predict, since I have to go forward twice, I'm going to say one, two. It says I need to go right four times let's see one two three four i'm gonna say that my bbot will stop right here okay so then i'm gonna type my code in two forward four right and forward one so let's see I'm gonna hit go So my Bebop did not end where my finish line was. Now this is the most important part. Now I need to reflect and say, what happened? Why didn't it go over here? So I'm gonna look back at my code. Okay, two forward. All right, I'm gonna say maybe one, two. All right, I think that part went right. I think that I messed up when it came to the four right. I only counted three right. I forgot four right. But then, even if I put it right here, it was still not near my Biba. So I think that possibly my counting is a little off. I'm a little off that way. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna clear my Biba. I'm gonna swap one card out. And now I have my new code. I'm gonna make a prediction forward twice. One, two, I'm gonna use my finish line to kind of measure. Four right, one, two, three, four. All right, then back one. All right, I think my Bebop's gonna end right here. All right, start with clear. Forward two, one, two, right four, one, two, three, four, back one. Let's see. that I got it right. All right, so once you are starting to get it right every time, go ahead and try to add another one to your code, but mix them up. Let's mix them up. We don't want to do the same code over and over again. So we can mix them up. We'll do this. We're going to do one more just to make sure that we know what we're doing. Hit clear. Bebop goes on start. Let's look at my code. Okay, forward one, forward two more times. One, two, back one and then four right one two three four all right i'm going to predict it's going to land right here let's try it start with clear forward one one two back one right two three four let's try it Oh my goodness, I'm still getting off a little bit. I need to try my next time. I need to make sure that I space them out correct because we know that next time we come, we're gonna be building our own tracks. So we need to work towards being able to create our own track and write our own code. If we don't know how to do this, then how are we going to write our new code? All right, get to work. 